Genesis 2, 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Now the word that was translated as tree was a Hebrew word H6086. Which is at the top here. And it's shown in pictograph form. Which is an I. And it is also a map. And the meaning of that would be watch direction. But further, the translators chose the word tree in this particular story, this particular verse. And in choosing the word tree from this shows its meaning that it was talking about scroll writings. As I had shown in a prior video, and as the word eights, which is the H6086 word shows, that it means a tree from its firmness, hence wood, plural sticks, plus carpenter, gallows, hell, pine, plank, staff, stock, stick, stock, timber, tree, wood, items made of wood or that have to do with a tree. And a scroll, the typical way that scrolls were made, where they were wrapped around a stick. And that's how scrolls were traditionally done. And those were the writings. Those had the power. They had even more power back then than they do now, which is kind of hard to believe because there's a lot of power in, in written words. But anyhow, so that's a word that, that was used for the word tree. And using the pictograph form, the translation of that is watch direction. But that eights word also comes from the Hebrew word H6095, which is etasa. And that word... is the same I plus the map plus the spirit. So that would be translated as watch direction spirit. A watch direction to reveal. And that's the thing about the translations of the ancient language is they were in pictograph form. And by being in pictograph form means they're all nouns. Or if a verb is chosen to be used, the verb has to be associated with the picture. So it is all about the character of the individual pictures, and that's how multiple translations can come out of one picture. And that's not even bringing up the fact of what is known as a vowel pointer. Now the vowel pointers that I've used with the pictographs, I use colors in order to change what vowel is being represented. And these videos, I haven't gone to that, that far into it. I didn't feel it was necessary or important. So if we continue on, we go to the next word, which is knowledge. And the next word, knowledge, comes from the Hebrew word H1847 which means enter, watch, covenant. But knowledge, we also know knowledge is mating. Knowledge is putting together or making. As the scripture writings we have read, for us that have read them, the word know is constantly used in regards to human beings mating with one another, which gives us that interpretation, that understanding of what the word knowledge should be associated with, its character. So, the tree of knowledge, which would be the writings, the scroll writings of mating, 
good and evil. But there are further translations that I'm trying to show here, such as, what are these mating of good and evil? Well, this knowledge part, H1847, is a door, an eye, and a mark. Mark is known as a covenant, or complete, or mark. There's many different meanings to it. The translation I chose for that word was enter, watch, covenant. But that word also comes from another word, which is Hebrew word H3045. And that word right here is an eye, a door, and an arm with a hand. I said that backwards though. It starts with the excuse me, it starts with the arm. The arm and hand, the door, and the eye, which would translate as make, enter, watch. Which seems like a forceful action that's occurring at that point in time of that knowledge. So there's the watch direction or watch direction spirit. There's the enter the watch covenant or make enter watch which is a forceful action and remember this is what's being warned about not to participate in so if we go on to the next word that i have translated here which i seem in, which i i feel is important in that verse which is the word good and the word good was the hebrew word h2896 and in that word, the pictograph form is a basket or a city, which is a grouping or a group. And then there's the wa symbol in the middle, which is a typically seen as a stick or a dead piece of wood. And means secure because it's a tent peg. It has other meanings such as being subjective or subjected. And then there's the ba, which is the household tent outline and the translation I chose for that was group secured household which is a grouping of secured households a city we'll continue on the word evil the word evil was translated from the Hebrew word H7451 and is Ra a ra a a ra ra a ha, which is two di two different ones there. Ra a a ra a ha, and which would mean man watch or man watch spirit, and would imply people being spied on. As the translator has shown us, that they felt. The word evil was appropriately associated with that. Because some people might say, well, that's just having police, and police is a good thing. Well, it is. If they're not spying on people, it's a good thing. If they're doing a proper job, and they're letting people live their lives, and being free and independent, then it's a good and fine thing. But if it's something like this in the olden time, which was a, I'm sure was a very small, close-knit community that... There really was no need to have any police officers like we have nowadays. So, the way the story carries on about the good and evil, that thou shalt not eat of it, for in, that, in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So the word we have left, or words we have left here to interpret is surely die and the word that that came from was H4191 which is Muth which is right here and is shown twice because it was shown twice in the scriptures it wasn't just once and I and I'm sure that's how they came up with surely die instead of just die now this Muth is the M 
which is water or waves, which means power or energy. And then the second symbol is a wa, again, which is a, a tent peg, a, a stick, which means things such as secure. And then there's the ta, which is the mark or cross sticks or covenant or complete. There's many different interpretations of that. The interpretation that I used was power to secure completely because it seemed appropriate with all these other groupings that were coming together. And essentially what any entity that has the power to secure completely becomes a fascist state, or in this case, a, a state, small little grouping, small community, small city. Uh, they call things cities that were really nothing what people would call a city nowadays. They call them a trailer park nowadays, the size of them. But they, used, they were fortresses is what they were. They were small fortresses, and people would pitch, pitch their tents inside the small fortresses. There's a very famous one, it's known as Tel Medgito, which originally was a fortress, and which meant it was a city at one time, and really not a very huge or large place, but that was the capacity of what it was. So, that's what we were told to stay away from. Or I should say, that's what the people in the Bible were told to stay away from. What do you think?